Good day learners, welcome to my class. Our lesson for today is entitled Locating Places on Earth Using Coordinate System, Latitude, and Longitude. For our most essential learning competency, you should be able to demonstrate how places on Earth may be located using a coordinate system. And here are our lesson objectives based on the given map. Number 1. Identify the imaginary lines found in a globe or map. Number 2. Differentiate the lines of latitude and longitude. Number 3. Determine the location of different places using latitude and longitude. Number 4. Value the importance of coordinate system. Now, are you ready to learn? Let's go! Suppose you are out in the middle of nowhere but you've been injured and need someone to come and rescue you. How do you tell the rescue party where to find you? There are no road signs and no addresses to give them. So what can you tell them? Very good! You can give your absolute location or coordinates to the rescue party using a map or your phone's GPS. Absolute location is a location in terms of coordinate system. It provides a unique location to prevent confusion on your exact location. But how does coordinate system works? First, let's talk about map and globe. Have you seen one? Great! Let's test your knowledge about map and globe by answering this short activity. Put an M if the statement describes a map and G if it describes a globe. Are you ready? Let's begin! Number 1. It is a flat and two-dimensional representation of the Earth. Number 2. It represents the model of the Earth as a round-like ball. Number 3. Has features of an area such as mountain, rivers, and lakes. Number 4. It is not handy and easy to carry around. Let's check your answers. Did you got it all correct? Great! Remember, a map is a two-dimensional representation of an area, land or sea, depicting physical features. It can represent the whole or part of the earth. While globe is a three-dimensional spherical model of the earth and represents the whole earth. Now, I want you to observe closely to the map and the globe. What do they share in common? You are correct. Both the map and the globe are made up of horizontal lines and vertical lines which intersect with each other. These lines are not seen on the surface of the earth. Hence, they are called imaginary lines. These imaginary lines are important in giving the absolute location of a place on earth. Imaginary lines are named as latitudes and longitudes. Now let's differentiate latitude and longitude by performing this activity. Procedure. Identify whether the following statements describe a latitude or longitude. Let's start.
Let's check your answers. Did you got it all correct? Very good! So based on the correct answers from the activity, which of these two illustrations show a latitude and a longitude? Good job! Latitudes are horizontal imaginary lines that run from east to west of a map or a globe. Since the Earth is a sphere, the distance of any place on the globe is measured in degree. The starting point for latitude is the equator. Thus, the equator is at zero degree latitude. The equator divides the Earth into two hemispheres, Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. The Northern Hemisphere is an area located above the equator to the North Pole. It extends above the equator for about 90 degree north. On the other hand, Southern Hemisphere is an area located below the equator down to the South Pole. It extends below the equator for about 90 degrees south. Philippines is located at the Northern Hemisphere, right above the equator. The notable latitudes are shown in this illustration, and each latitude is given a special name. The latitude of a place has something to do with its climate. The part of the world between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn is called tropics. Countries located in this zone experience a tropical climate where the annual average temperature is above 18 degrees Celsius. That's why the Philippines is a tropical country. The part of the world between Arctic Circle and Tropic of Cancer is called Northern Temperate Zone and between Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle is called Southern Temperate Zone. Countries located in these zones experience four seasons such as winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Areas within Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle are called polar or frigid zones. Countries located in these zones experience cold temperature all year round. What do you observe to the climate of a place if it is closer to the equator? Right, the closer the place or latitude to the equator, the warmer the temperature. And the farther it goes from the equator, it becomes colder. Longitudes are vertical imaginary lines that run from the north to south of a map or a globe. They extend from North Pole to South Pole. To visualize properly longitude, let us use this illustration. The starting point for measuring longitude is the primary gen, which is located at zero degree longitude. The primary gen divides the Earth into two pair of hemisphere, the Western Hemisphere and the Eastern Hemisphere. The Western Hemisphere extends from the primary region to 180 degrees going to the left. Meanwhile, Eastern Hemisphere extends from the primary region to 180 degrees going to the right. Philippines is located at the Eastern Hemisphere. Longitude and latitude degrees represent the location of a place on Earth. When these latitude and longitude are combined, we can locate the absolute location of a place and that's where coordinate system comes in. Coordinate system is an arrangement of reference lines or imaginary lines on the globe or map. By means of coordinate system, the position or location of any place on Earth's surface can be determined and described. In a coordinate system, we need an origin or zero reference. In this case, x-axis is the equator, 
and y-axis is the primary region, both at zero degree. A place can be located uniquely by how far to the left or right it is from the y-axis and how far above or below the x-axis. The sample point has a unique coordinates of negative 3 and positive 5. To locate a place on the surface of the Earth, we need to use the same method of coordinates. We need to locate where the latitude and longitude intersect on the map or globe. Remember, coordinates are set of degrees of latitude and longitude that help you locate a place on a map or a globe. Let's try this one. What letter is located at 0 degrees north and 120 degrees west? To answer, keep in mind that the degrees at the side are latitudes and the degrees above are longitudes. First, let's find 60 degrees north. 60 degrees north is above the equator. It's here. Next, locate 120 degrees west. 120 degrees west is at left side of primary region. It's here. Then, draw a line to trace where the two degrees intersect. The answer is letter B. How about 30 degrees south and 0 degree? Let's check your answers. Did you got it all correct? Very good! Let's check your answers. Did you got it all correct? Very good! Let's check your answers. Did you got it all correct? Great! And that ends our video for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time.